All right, take one. Hello everyone, and welcome to my Let's Play of Pokemon Crystal. My name is Library Cards Collect, and this is my first Let's Play that I'm doing for YouTube. We are a girl. Pretty sure my name will fit in here. Library. Awesome. I am ready. So is everyone else. Alright, so this is our room. And something, a fun fact, is that Gen 2 games, Gold and Silver and Crystal, were the first games to have a decoration feature available. Later on in the series, I'll be showcasing some of the different items that are available, and I will try to post a room of the episode every time at the beginning of the episode, just for lols. However, this one obviously the basic room, because technically we're not supposed to have any decorations yet. I'm a wizard! Just kidding guys, but that was the tail end of my first batch of footage, which was corrupted after my first recording, unluckily enough. Alright, this is our hometown, New Bark. Pretty generic. Uh, except for this jerk, who... As you may or may not know, 
will just basically beat you up for looking at him. How rude. Anyway, let's get our first Pokemon. Fire Mouse Pokemon and Charmander equivalent. Uh, it's pretty cute. Now we gotta run through all the options. Totodile, the Water Big Jaw Pokemon. The Squirtle equivalent. Don't want that one either though. And Chikorita, the grass type leaf Pokemon. Pretty original. That does have a huge leaf on its head. Oh, and there's one they don't tell you about. It is the trash can Pokemon Snack Wrapper. With carbohydrates and a few trans fats, but, you know, probably not a good choice of a Pokemon. We will, in fact, be going with Totodile. Simply because. Honestly, it's a cool Pokemon, and I don't think, um... It's a cool Pokemon, it matches our color, all that stuff. And as is with all the Pokemon that I will be getting in this Let's Play, we will be nicknaming it. I'm gonna call him Champ, uh, cause it's a play on words of Chomp, and also, hopefully he's actually good at battling and things. That's the plan. Ugh. Allergies. Ugh. I don't even know allergies. I don't know if a stuffy nose. You might notice that my name is Libra for this section. Uh, and that's another result of the Corrupted File. This is the second save game out of three that I actually had to go through to get this footage. Um, it hopefully isn't that noticeable though, and we aren't playing as Libra for the rest of the game. So, just fun fact. <laughs> hmm? Oh, nice. That'll come in handy, probably. Probably. Alright. Let's get this show on the road. Warp speed. <laughs> I'm fast forwarding for this part since it's so short, but if we're wandering around in the grass for like a long time looking for a Pokemon or something, um, I will basically just cut it out. Alright, we'll be coming back here later um, uh, on our way back when we actually have Pokeballs, but for right now I just wanted to make a note of it. Here's something else new in Generation 2, Berry Trees. In this game, there are 10 types of berries, and they do one of three things. Restore HP, restore PP, and cure status conditions, confusion included. The one next to me here happens to be a generic berry tree, which heals 10 HP to the Pokemon it's used on. The other HP restoring berries are the gold berry, which restores 30, like a citrus berry. 
Mm. And that's actually it. These go on to become the Oron and Citrus Berries. Alright. Welcome to Cherry Grove City! First town, the Din 2 equivalent to Viridian. Right away we're snatched up on a tour of the place, shown where to buy things and where to go. Now, this tour is completely optional, but I'm doing it for a good cause. Should actually fast forward through this part, maybe. But now it's informational. I need to blow my nose. We're here. The cause we were for is this map card. This gets added to our Poke Gear and functions the same way as the town map. So yeah, free town map, no more running around between houses. It's a good time. Good thing, you know. Uh, oh yeah, there are other cards besides this one, but we won't get the next one until we get to Goldenrod City. <laughs> good thing we could count on this guy though. You know, for some help, for some friendly advice. Alright, anyway, let's get going! Mr. Pokemon's house, ahoy! This, area, this house and tree right here are places to get two more berries. Tree regrows, but I don't know if this guy gives you more berries if you come back to him. Item. Antidote. Awesome. Alright, and here's another first for Gen 2. The first uh, overworld trainer battle that isn't being held by us. Uh, this is continued in Gen 3, Gen 4, just all over the place. Uh, sadly, they're blocking the road, so let's just move on for now and get our actual errand done instead of running away. Functions the same way as the antidote we just got, so they're loading us up with starter items, which is pretty cool. Gonna save our money. Alright, more new people! This is Mr. Pokemon, who I'm pretty sure we never talked to again for at least a long time. And would, believe it or not, Professor Oak! Uh, our player doesn't really know uh, who he is. Let's see, Professor Oak, even Professor Oak, he recognizes that. And he, like, turns, because he noticed he said his name. And the Professor Oak theme! I'm Oak, famous Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Hmm, I see. This is certainly nice of him. You seem to be dependable. <laughs> I hope I'm dependable. Otherwise his let's play isn't gonna get done. Hmm. Too many kinds of Pokemon to complete that Pokedex. Dude, this guy has to walk to Goldenrod? Good luck, man. Alright, yes we are. He heals us up, and you know, that's pretty nice of him. Uh, but he's depending on us. So. What? Hello, library is a disaster. Mm, um, it's just terrible. What did I do? It. Oh no. Please get back here now! Wow. Excuse me, sir. Well, okay. Uh, Professor Elm, calm down. That doesn't sound good. Next time, we'll rush to the good professor's aid and find out what happened back at the lab. Thanks for watching! 
And I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of my first Let's Play ever.